Hey there YouTube, uh, this is a little video about my, my solar setup here and what it is I use. And it's not, the, the, you know, I did sort of do a little bit of math with it, but it's not um, probably as efficient as what it could possibly be. But it works well for me and my needs at this time. Now, I'll start off with the, um, the panel itself. And this panel is a 100 watt, 18 volt, 5.5 amp. Let me just bring you over to the computer here. Because this is the one I bought. Uh, there's the price there. Okay, now they're a little bit more expensive right now. Let me just um, click onto here. And that's, that's where it is. And the great thing about these, well, one of the great things about these panels is there's the specification there so it's got an open voltage open uh, circuit voltage of 21.24 volts short circuit current amp 6.4 amps but the uh, voltage output of it really is um, 18 volts well you can read that yourself look let me just steady my hand so yeah and uh, one of the things that I liked about it was even on my one it's got the power connections on the front and it does say in the, um, it highlights it as well with these guys you know that you may have the power connection on the front you may you can give a note but look this is made from a lightweight plastic and it's flexible which means it's going to be a lot more durable for moving around and doing whatever with and this is how I'd like mine to have been but I bought mine with the image showing the thing on the front so but I don't mind I, I can live with it um, and I think somewhere down here it does actually say about that about the thing being on the front uh, there in this uh, in this writing here some of the wires blah blah you can read that yeah it just says some of the wires in the junction box will be on the front of the solar panel if you care about this please note before you buy so I don't know if that means just keep in mind that that could be like that or whether it means you can actually leave a note with them and say please can I have more of it the fittings on the back. Okay, so that's the solar panel, and I am really impressed with it. I have it at this angle because I put my um, Bryman meter on here, and it sort of indicates to me that this is where I get the best voltage across it. Okay, so uh, the batteries, uh, no, no, no. Right, so we've got the solar panel, and now the next thing we need is a, a charger, a charge controller, in fact. So I bought this MPPT, MPPT, Maximum PowerPoint Tracking System. This is the 20 amp version, and it works great. I love it. Even on a dull day, I still get power. I still get power. Through the winter, there was one day where really it wasn't doing anything. One day. But every other day, I had power. And I was happy. Happy every day, knowing that this thing was charged my batteries, I can run my lights, I can run my little homemade power supply and all that sort of thing off it. And um, and it's great. So I'm really impressed with this. Really impressed with it. Uh, absolutely love this thing. Now, I bought this off eBay from a company called Sure Electronics. Uh, the only downside I had was they went through TNT, which then decided to push a service onto me. Here we are. Um, push a service onto me for paying my extra duty, which was five pounds. It was going to cost me twenty pounds for this service, but I told them to get lost. I didn't want that service. I'd been quite happy to wait. I don't like service being put forced upon me. I like the choice. That's the beauty about living in a democracy. Anyway, so here's what I paid for it. Now I have noticed that if you were to look at similar items, they are a little bit more expensive now. Maybe it's because I bought it in the um, High winter. I mean, here's one for example. I'm not going to go through trying to find the most bargainous, but this is the same kit as mine, and now it's uh, 118 plus, you know, nine. Uh, but you you can find a bargain. You've got to hunt around, okay? You got to hunt around. But for the uh, the thing of this, I'm not going to. Now it has this little control panel, which mine's down here. If I just hit the, the power there, it's on the task when I'm drawing. Uh, Point two, but that's not quite right. 
because what it's not taking into account is what's coming in. Uh, I'm actually drawing off the power supply at the minute. It's saying now there's 0.4 there and 0.2 we're drawing off, but I'm actually using that because I'm charging my LiPo. Even though that's supposed to be an 800 milliamp charger, I would expect to see more power going out there. It's just another one of those cheapos, but that's great. Came from Amazon, and that will go back as soon as my other one turns up. Because um, it's not doing what it's supposed to. But that's charging for my quadcopter to go out with in a little bit. Um, and yeah, so this, this, this panel is great. One, it lets you know the voltage coming in. Let's just go back. So I've got 15.2 volts usable coming through the panel at the minute. And... It, you've got to take into account that whatever I'm using, it will deduct from here, like here. Now, if there was nothing coming through the panel at all, and I'm using 400 milliamp, it will say minus 4 here. Yeah, so that I was, um, there, there is nothing coming through, but now there is power coming through again. Sorry if my hand's swaying away from here. That's uh, what I'm actually using. And this, I can't remember what the 27 means, but that's because I got it set for 150 amp hour because I've got two 75 amp hour batteries. I hope you can see that. Oh that's better. Sorry if I've had that crappy angle for you. Um, that's the state of charge. Now you shouldn't really take any notice of that because it's more based on when you look in the manual I can't remember exactly what it says um, but it's, it's based on a gimmick more than anything else uh, and that's just telling me I've got sealed lead acid and uh, set that 150 amp hour again so we go back around there we go I've got 17 oh no sorry that's 17 and the N basically means that's in um, state 17 and the N means in uh, I'm basically in manual okay I switched this on and off manually it can all be done with timers coming on a preset amount of time coming on it will go off for preset amount of time. There is quite a bit of configuration with it, but I have it all in manual because when I finish that night, I just press this button to isolate everything on the bench from this uh, from this device from the solar system. And that's my usage. That's what I've used. That's what I've put in. That's what I've used. Um, I need to look up exactly what those numbers um, mean, but that's what they are representing. And there's the voltage. Coming in, it's an 18 volt panel, like I say, but really usable. Um, you want to, you want that sort of voltage to be charging your batteries properly. And again, it's because I'm taking out, I'm taking out an extra 100 milliamps to what I'm actually putting in. Yeah, I'm taking out 700, so I must be putting in 600 milliamps. Because that changes as the uh, as the battery is changing state as it's charging. So. Uh, the batteries, I got them from a chap, they're a little bit more expensive at the moment because I try and get everything on sale, I, I sort of watch things and try and get things when I've seen them on sale, and I'll even send a message to the seller and say hey I saw it in sale, could I have it at that price please, I'll buy it at that price, I know it's not on sale at the moment but can I do that, and you know, <laughs> uh, quite, uh, quite often these, these people go for that. So I got these two at the same time because it's good to get your batteries at the same time. Um, just so they're both in the same sort of condition and state so they sort of charge equally and do everything. I read up a little bit about batteries. Not enough maybe to be a wizard but enough to get me by. And because I've got 5.5 amps possibly coming off this panel per day um, given the wattage and the amount of hours of possible light I can have usable light. Uh, <clears throat> that was pretty close to sort of like ten percent capacity of the batteries. Okay, and there's that, that, that's it's significant, but it, not something I want to go into right now because it's a long drawn up process, and I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to give a what I've done here. So I've connected these two in parallel. I've got myself a little uh, terminal meter, so I get to see what I've got out of the terminal. Um, I've got a power takeoff here, what I call it, PTA, um, and that runs through this little circuit here, which just controls by temperature the fans. Yeah. Now, the sensor 
is just there. It bends over the top of the panel to the front side of it. And it's just connected with these uh, dodgy little leads. Just come down here and just go there. And that enables me to set it to like 24, 25 degrees. If it gets any warmer than that, the fans start blowing. Uh, it probably kicks in around about 23 and a half slowly, then 24, 25 till it's on full. And you know, and then the fans are kicking. It's just a, an NTC. And that's all that is, an NTC. And we've got a little bit of wave controlling um, when that triggers by this little circuit. I've done a video on this so you can see what, what that's about. But this is great because it blows air um, up and around here. And if I put my hands here when they're blowing, I can feel air coming through here. So I know I've got a circulation through the batteries as well. Uh, this piece of paper is just here just to stop any sort of sunlight from coming on here. Just to help again keep the temperature down. Um, but this I am really, really chuffed with. Like I say, really, really happy. And just having that there gives me um, an on-bench indicator. It's next to the, uh, the AC one that I have to let me know what's going on on my bench. Power-wise through the AC, put all these sockets and whatever. And of course that um, my solar power, can it allows me to have power here. So I've got 5 volt outputs on both of these and this is a buck converter as you can see. And that gives me a variable output there. I don't know what it's set for at the moment, I think it's around about 7 volts. Um, and that's brilliant. These two are in parallel. Uh, all these connections here are for the uh, for the LED lights. I am I built this this switch box uh, at the minute. The switch box is just for the power supply. It will also be for this because I'm going to convert this from mains to this board, which will be my variable input board and give me a constant uh, output here. Um, and these I'm going to use to um, control LEDs individually or in pairs and then have a couple of extra just for auxiliary. Uh, yeah, so so that's it. That's, that, that's, the, that's the sort of setup. Uh, I can't think there's anything else to add. It's, all I can say is, you know, try and get these things for as uh, cheap as the fans are on the go now, beautiful. Uh, try and get them as cheap as you can. Uh, and, and, and that's it, that's it really. It's quite basic, quite simple. I do have an actual modification for this because even though this charge controller has protection, it's got plenty of protection, short circuit protection, it's got all sorts of protection on it. So I'm not really worried. I do have an inline fuse. I do have an in oh, here it is. I do have an inline fuse, and I, and I do intend on putting this on. And say, say, um, I've got a 15 amp fuse in there, but I can put a 15 and a 20 amp fuse in there, and I'm going to connect this here, nice and close, uh, but giving a bit of working room. And if a fuse goes for any reason, this little LED will come on uh, and give me an indication because. Nothing working won't be indication enough for me. Nope. Uh, but to be fair, this was the same price as one without the LED, so I just thought, yeah, you know, be posh, get it with the LED, even though you'll know on your bench when nothing's working that there's a problem. Uh, but chances are, this will do all the protecting first. But it's just good practice, isn't it? Tough a fuse. So, I shall get around to putting that in. So that's it. That is the solar panel. That is um, that is what we got, and I think it works really well. I am really chuffed with it. It gives me um, as much power as I wanted through the winter. The light up my LEDs in this little this little room around my workbench. It also um, gives me a takeoff, you know, for um, for my power here. And as I uh, and this this little power supply is great with it. Absolutely great. Of course, I only get um, this going into it and a reduction of about 2 volts for the regulators. But in all fairness, for the little circuits that I play around with, it's great. Absolutely great. And it's set up for 30 volt input, really, with the resistors and everything that's in there. I haven't compensated it because I've not really found the need to yet. And if I do need a bit more power, 
voltage coming off it, I, uh, I just connect this because this will work from 10 volts. So, yeah, it's all good. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. I hope you found this you know, interesting, whatever. Uh, give me questions if you've got any questions about it, that's not a problem. And I will end up tidying this up and getting it fitted into the back of this switch box uh, using these cables here. I just haven't really got round to it yet, but I, I am going to get onto it. I am going to get onto it. So, 101 things to do, including you know, uh, going and playing with things like these quadcopters now. So, speak to you next time. Bye.